Hello, how are you? Me? Oh, I'm fine. I eat well, sleep well, and of course, dress well. Um. Today's topic is classes of food. When we talk about food, we must first know about nutrition. But what is nutrition? Let's look at the meaning. Nutrition is the process of taking food, digesting it, and utilizing the absorbed nutrients to obtain the energy for growth, maintenance, and repair of damaged tissues. All of us enjoy eating good, delicious food. We eat food for breakfast, for lunch, dinner, and sometimes in between meals. Good food gives us the energy to do work, to play, to replace lost energy, to repair worn out tissues, for growth, and in general, for staying healthy. Food contains a mixture of substances or nutrients. Nutrients are chemical substances in food that are required by every living cell in the body for metabolic reactions that are vital to life. Food can be classified into seven main classes. They are as carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, mineral salts, dietary fibers or roughage, and water. Let's discuss on carbohydrates, proteins, and fats first. We shall discuss these three nutrients first because they form the bulk of our food. We'll start with carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are made up of the elements carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Carbohydrates are needed as a source of energy. Example of carbohydrate is sugar. Sugar dissolves readily in water and tastes sweet. Sugar can be found in honey, grapes, and also from plants such as tapioca and potatoes. Carbohydrates may be grouped together as simple sugar, complex sugar, starch, and cellulose. Example of simple sugar is glucose. Maltose or malt sugar is an example of complex sugar. It is made up of two glucose molecules joined together. Starch is stored in plant tissues and is one of the main source of carbohydrate. It is made up of many glucose molecules joined together. Cellulose is found in the cell walls of plant cells. It is present in all the plant foods that we eat. Cellulose cannot be digested in our body. You got it? Alright, now let's move on to protein. Proteins are mainly made up of the elements carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. Sulfur and phosphorus may also be present. Proteins are needed by the body for growth and repair of worn out tissues, to make enzymes and hormones, to form antibodies, and as a source of energy when glycogen and fats are used up. Protein molecules are large and insoluble. Each protein molecule is made up of small molecules called amino acids joined to form a long linear chain. There are two types of proteins, animal protein and plant protein. 
animal protein contains all the amino acids needed by our body. They are found in meat, fish, eggs, milk, and cheese. Plant proteins do not have all the amino acids required by our body. Plant proteins are found in cereals and beans. Next is fats. Fat molecules are who? Me? Fat? Of course not. I like eating good delicious food but I eat moderately and wisely to maintain my weight. Okay, let's continue our discussion on fats. Fats are made up of elements like carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Fat molecules are large and insoluble. A fat molecule is made up of one molecule of glycerol and three molecules of fatty acids. Oil is fat in liquid state. The functions of fat include supplying energy as an insulator of heat to reduce heat loss from the body, protecting the internal organs such as the kidneys and the heart, and dissolving some vitamins in the body like vitamin A, D, E and K. Fats occurs in animals and plants. Animal fats are called saturated fats. They are found in foods such as butter, ghee, fatty meat. Vegetable fats are unsaturated fats. There are two categories of unsaturated fats. They are polyunsaturated fats and monounsaturated fats. Polyunsaturated fats are found in foods like sunflower, corn and soybean oils. Whereas, monounsaturated fats are found in food like peanut and olive oils. Okay, how about doing some simple food tests to test for starch, glucose, proteins and fats. We shall use some specific regions or materials to test for starch, glucose, protein and fat. We shall start with starch. some starch solution into a test tube. Add a few drops of iodine solution. Look, the starch solution turns blue-black. This means that the food sample contains starch. You see, any food sample that turns blue-black when mixed with iodine contains starch. Next, test for glucose. Put a few drops of Benedict solution to some glucose solution. Heat the mixture in a water bath for a few minutes. Look! A brick red precipitate is seen in the test tube.
This means that the food sample contains glucose. Any food sample that contains glucose, when heated and mixed with Benedict's solution, will produce a brick red precipitate. Test for proteins. Pour some food sample like egg white solution in a test tube. Egg white contains protein. Add a few drops of Milan's Regent. Heat the mixture in a water bath. A white precipitate forms in the test. Wait, hold on. See, now the white precipitate turns dark red. This means that the food sample contains protein. Any food sample that contains protein when heated and mixed with Millen's region will turn dark red. Test for fats. We are going to do two tests. Spot test and emulsion test. Spot test. Smear some food sample onto a filter paper. Allow the filter paper to dry. A translucent spot is observed where the food sample is smeared. This means that the food sample contains fats. Emulsion test. Pour some ethanol into a test tube. Add a few drops of cooking oil into the test tube. Shake the mixture. Allow the mixture to stand for a while. What do we see here? A cloudy emulsion that contains tiny fat droplets. This means that the food sample contains fats. Alright, we have discussed on carbohydrates, proteins and fats. We have also done some simple food tests. Now, Let's continue today's topic on nutrition with vitamins, minerals and dietary fibre. Like most of us, adults and children, you've probably heard at least one parent say, don't forget your vitamins, eat your vegetables, it's packed with vitamins. So what exactly are vitamins? Well, vitamins are organic compounds and are required in small quantities by human and animals for normal health and development. Fresh fruits and vegetables contain a lot of vitamins. There are two types of vitamins, fat soluble and water soluble. When you eat foods that contain fat-soluble vitamins, the vitamins are stored in the fat tissues in your body and in your liver. They go and wait around in your body fat until your body needs them. Water-soluble vitamins are different. 
When you eat foods that have water-soluble vitamins, the vitamins don't get stored as much in your body. Instead, they travel through your bloodstream and whatever your body doesn't use comes out when you urinate. Vitamin A, D, E and K are fat soluble and can be stored in the fats of the body. Vitamins B and C are water soluble. They are not stored in the body and must be supplied daily. Our body shows signs of deficiencies if it does not receive enough vitamins. Now, let's look at the table on vitamins and see their functions and sources. Vitamin A Function For growth, healthy skin, good vision at night. Sources Eggs Milk Vegetables Fish liver oil Vitamin B Function Promotes healthy nervous systems and controls the supply of carbohydrates to muscles and nerve cells. Sources Yeast Egg Milk cereals and vegetables Vitamin C Function Promotes healthy skin, gums and teeth and helps wounds to heal. Sources Vegetables Citrus Fruits Tomatoes Vitamin D Function Helps to build strong bones and teeth. Sources Fish Oil Milk and Eggs Vitamin E Function Needed to maintain the reproductive system Effects of deficiency Sterility Sources Cereals Eggs Vegetables Butter Milk Vitamin K Function Essential in blood clotting Effects of deficiency Poor blood clotting Sources Liver Vegetables Fruits Next is minerals What do you have in your mind when I say the word minerals? You might say, hey, aren't minerals something you find in the earth like iron? No, those are metals. Minerals in food are in the form of salts. Red meat, such as beef, is a good source of mineral salt, also known as iron. Just like vitamins, minerals help your body to grow, develop and stay healthy. Minerals do not provide energy, but they are needed for body functions. Now, let's look at the table on minerals and see their functions and sources. Calcium Function Formation of strong bones and teeth helps in clotting of blood. Sauce Milk Cheese Anchovies Egg Green vegetables Sodium Function Necessary constituent of blood plasma Sauce Salt Iron Function Builds hemoglobin of red blood cells Sauce Liver Meat Eggs Green vegetables Iodine Function Formation of strong bones and teeth Functioning of thyroid gland Sauce Milk Eggs Seafood Phosphorus Function Formation of strong bones and teeth Sauce Meat Fish Eggs Nuts Green vegetables Potassium Function Necessary for muscle contraction Helps to maintain the balance of blood and tissue fluids Sauce Meat Fish Cereals 
Next is dietary fiber or roughage. What is dietary fiber or roughage? Roughage is the component of all plant materials. It is mainly made up of types of carbohydrate that our body can't digest or absorb, such as cellulose. Remember, cellulose is found in the cell walls of plant cells. Roughage is commonly found in cereals such as wheat and oat, and also in legumes like lentils and beans. Roughage is also found in nuts and fruits and vegetables. Foods such as meat, fish, eggs, milk and cheese do not contain fiber. Roughage provides bulk to food and helps to stimulate peristalsis and thus move the contents to the intestine. The main source of roughage are vegetable and fruits. Too little roughage in the diet may cause constipation. Now, let's move on to something that is most important and familiar with us. Water. You see, every living creature needs clean and safe drinking water. Humans can survive for several weeks without food but only a few days without water. A constant supply is needed to replenish the fluids lost through normal physiological activities such as respiration, sweating and urination. Do you know that about 70% of our body weight is water? Food and drinks supply the water necessary for our body. Phew, we have covered quite a lot today. It's time for me to replenish my nutrition intake. I can smell the sweet smell of fish curry. Mm. Okay, till next time. Bye.